So the day before yesterday in one of my Facebook groups, a woman named Evelyn had posted a picture of this strawberry. I'm importing it. What I did was in the Facebook post, I right clicked on the picture and just saved it as um, an image on my desktop. Now I'm importing it and there's our picture. Cute little, pretty simple looking strawberry. Um, but it doesn't give you the layers when you trace it that you, at least not the way I would want it for cutting. Um, and everyone was having a problem figuring out how to do something with this. So I figured I would make a video and show you how to deal with some of the little hiccups that you might come across with even the simplest of images. So with anything, the first thing I'm going to do is trace it. Make sure it's selected. Go to Path. Trace Bitmap. Select Colors. Uncheck Smooth. Check Remove Background. And now I preview it. And I'm going to drop the scans to the minimum that I need. So once I get to 5, I start losing things that I really need. So we're going to go back up to 6 and hit OK. And now we have an SVG and the original. We'll get rid of the original. So now this one is actually in layers. I'll show you the layers. If you double click on the image, it opens up the layers. We have a red one, a green one, a pink one. This was from the cheeks. We have this one and we have this one. This is the only layer out of all of these that I'm going to actually end up using. Um, technically you could you could use this layer to make like that solid background that you would normally make on an image. We could do the path break apart and union and have one solid picture and make that all red. But then we're layering the green on top of it and if it's not a perfect lineup you're going to see little red pieces around the edges and that's just not the way I want to do this. So I'm going to control Z to undo and keep undoing until I'm back to where I started. What I want to try to do is get one red base piece and one green base piece and then layer the dark green and the face and the cheeks and the spots on top of those two base pieces. So to do that the first thing I'm going to do is get these little pieces that are going to end up on top at the end so I'm just going to fill those all in. Use the paint bucket. Uh, I'll use black for the eyes and the mouth. You can zoom in with control and your scroll wheel and fill that in. Go to the select tool, hold shift, and click on all the pieces. And we attach them together with control K. So we have the face. Then we're going to get some pink cheeks. Again, the selector, shift and click on both, and control K. And we have some cheeks. And now these white spots, I'm actually going to make gray so that I can see them. And then I'll turn them white later when I put them on the strawberry. So we have all them. And then we shift and click them all. And control K. That's the easy part. So we have all these pieces. They're all ready to go. And I'm going to get this, um, this, this, the base piece of the green. If I fill that in, I'm going to get a lighter green here. If I fill it in and pull that off, I want one solid piece. I don't want this white in the middle. So if I do path, break apart, and union, I now have a solid base piece for that. And now this, I told you before, this layer we don't need. This layer we're going to use, we don't want the face in it. So I'm going to double click on it to get to the nodes, or you could just click the node editor and that'll do the same thing. Drag a box around the ones you don't want, the nodes you don't want. These nodes, every time, every one of these little squares is where your needle is going to cut, your blade is going to cut down. It's going to touch down to your vinyl on your machine. Um, so we're going to go back to the selector. So now we have this piece. But this green piece is sitting on top of it. So we're going to take that one object, lower to bottom. So now these are layered the right way. <coughs> so now we have all of this is ready to go. All we really need now is the base red piece, which is a little bit trickier. So we're gonna, we don't need any of this anymore. Get rid of those layers. We want this red one. 
but we only want this bottom part and we want it solid. And you can't fill it in because these pieces, all these white pieces, are not bounded. If you try to fill these in now, if you go to path, break apart, and then try to union it, it fills in the little white spots here, but all of this stuff, there's no, if you look, the they're not bound in by anything. This is just open space here. If I run this over this, so you can't fill it in. We need to make it so that this piece can be filled in, and we need to get rid of all this other stuff. So I'm going to undo that, what I did before. Zoom in here a little bit, and first I'm going to get rid of all of this. Double click on it, and just start deleting nodes. You can zoom in as far as you have to to get a good square around the nodes you want without getting any of the ones you didn't want to delete. Because once you delete them, it becomes really difficult to get them back. <laughs> Get rid of all this, and this, and this, and that. Oh, we got one little straggler there. Okay. Now, if you take these and you bring them in to the nodes that they started from, it takes away any curve that was coming out of it. Alright, so now we have this part of the strawberry that we want, but now we got to close this piece off. So I'm going to zoom back in here. I'm going to take a square. It doesn't matter what color. It's actually better if it's a contrasting color. If I click on this again, I can rotate it. And I'm just going to... I want to basically finish this line. So I'm going to make this into a path so that I can add nodes to it. When you have any line anywhere, if I double click on it, you'll see there's only four nodes in here right now. But I don't really want this square. I could do this, drag it, and get a perfect curve with any luck, but that doesn't always work. You can add nodes. If you double click right here on the edge, it'll add a node there. And then I'll put that node right there on that edge. And then I'll add a node right here and put it on that edge. And now I should have a pretty good. I want these inside this. You'll see why in a second, but I don't want them sticking out of the red. So now I'm going to take that shape, hold shift, and click on the big shape, and path union. So now I didn't change the shape of this circle, but I bound this white piece. So that now if I do break apart, it actually can fill them all in. Then we go path union. And now we have a solid red piece. Might not be perfect, but we can fix that. So now we're going to take <coughs> our solid green piece and lay it in there and get it nice. So you see it's not going to be absolutely perfect. You see a little bit of white. So I'm going to come in here real close, double click on these nodes, and just kind of push them out a little bit. So that you're not going to end up with white space. That's close. I don't know what that note is. We don't need that one. Okay, so now we have our green sitting on our red. We can take, whoops, go to the selector. You can't really move them around by the nodes. We're going to lay the green one on there. We're going to lay this on here, and then we're going to turn it white again. Because now we'll be able to see the white. And then we're going to lay our face and our cheeks. Now we have a layered strawberry the way I wanted it layered. So I have a solid green, a solid red, and then we just put all the little tiny stuff on top of that. So there you go. What seems like it should have been a really, really quick trace turned into a little bit more complicated of a project. I group these together with Control G before I save them, and then hopefully when we get to Design Space, the, that kind of stays grouped and you don't end up with pieces all over your screen. You do anyway sometimes, but not that often. And then we save it as plain SVG, and you'll be able to bring that into uh, Design Space or wherever you're going to bring it. So hopefully that helps somewhat. I know it was kind of complicated as far as Inkscape goes, but. Uh, Weird things happen and you have to learn how to kind of roll with it. 
So if there's anything else that you can think of that you'd like to see demonstrated, give me a shout, wendye524 at gmail.com, or you can just post a comment after the video. Talk to you later.